Hi guys, let's have a look at modifying channels in Affinity Photo to make intricate selections and we're doing it on the iPad. Now Affinity Photo's selection tools which enable you to make all kinds of intricate selections and cutouts are excellent. But good as they are, they're not the only way to make a precise selection. Sometimes you're better off using channels. Our starting image of the trees here is a good example and you can download the start images from the address in the description if you like or use your own. It's just a photo of palm trees on a seafront. If we were to try to select all the sky using normal selection tools and that's what we're going to do, we're going to replace the sky with a much more dramatic one. If you're going to use selection tools like the selection brush, then it would take a long time to pick out all the bits that show through the palm leaves particularly. However, by turning to channels instead, we can isolate parts of the image based on colour and brightness, which makes things quicker and more precise. In this project, we'll look at how to use channels to isolate the original dull sky and drop in a much more interesting background. We begin by choosing the channel that gives us the greatest contrast between land and sky. Then modify it to increase the contrast so that one part is white and the other is black. It's this contrast that enables us to make a precise selection. Then we can blend our two layers with a mask and tone them to match. Whether you want to replace a sky like this, mask a person with tricky hair, or make all manner of precise cutouts, the channel technique is a great trick to understand and employ. So to get started, download the start images and then open Channels Before 01 and 02 into Affinity Photo. They're called Channels 01 Before, uh, Channels Before 01 and Channels Before 02, as you can see there. In fact, you can name them anything you like. Now, go to the 01 image and copy that image. Then go to the sky image 2 and paste so that you've got the sky image on the bottom layer and the trees image on the next layer. Now, they're both background, but make sure you make sure they are pixels, not images. Images don't work. You've got to rasterize them, convert them to pixels. Now, make a duplicate of the trees image so that there are two tree layers and one sky layer below. You can see that there, two trees, one sky. Easy as. Now, rename the layers to background mask, trees and sky. Makes life a bit easier for you, in that order, from the top down. Go to the channel studio and click through each of the composite red, green and blue channels. You can just tap on the channel and see what happens. We're looking for the channel that gives us the greatest contrast between the trees and sky. With skies, this is likely the blue channel. Uh -huh, lots of blue in a sky. Make sure you have the top layer selected in the layers panel. Don't try it with the second layer or the, or the sky layer on the bottom. Just work on the top layer. To isolate the blue channel that we need, the red and green channels in the lower section should be cleared by tapping the three dots and selecting clear. See the lower bit there? There's one of those matching the red channel and there's one matching the green channel. Don't worry about the other ones. Just click on the three dots beside the red and the green and tap clear on each one and that actually clears them out. You can now see the blue channel layer in the stack of layers. So one appears to be blue, that's the blue channel. And you've got your ordinary trees layer and your ordinary sky layer. But behold, the image is black and white, which is just what you want. We can use our top layer as a template for selections. So highlight the composite blue channel, that's the top one. Next, open the Adjustment Studio and tap the Levels Adjustment and bring in the blacks and whites to increase the contrast. So with the context toolbar down the bottom, don't alter anything else. You've got RGB and master. Just bring the black up to 14% and drop the white to about 
and that's that that should give you good contrasting and an almost purely white sky now you can see the top layer there I've still got it called background but it's it's actually the top layer that you're working on now what I've done is drag the adjusted levels layer into the top layer so you drag it in and it forms a little group you know how to do that drag it halfway into that layer because it'll first appear above that top trees layer or adjustment layer drag it halfway into the top layer let it go and it will appear like that slightly offset with a down arrow there it forms a small group which is shown by that little triangle you can collapse that if you like and select that top layer so just tap the triangle and they'll merge together you'll just have one layer there again and that's the one you select select that top layer now select the brush tool with the black color and paint black over the foreground details paint white over any parts of the sky that are gray be very careful of your brush size and density and things like that you want to remove all the foreground land seats etc and you can see in the image there everything is pitch black the roads are gone the people are gone the seats are gone the park benches are gone there's nothing there except a black silhouette use care here remember select the top blue icon layer not the adjustment layer so you can see on the right there I've got the adjustment layer selected no that's no good you've got to select the layer above it that's the blue layer you can collapse that tap the triangle so it's just one layer and tap that layer that's your best way it can be confusing if you forget and try and paint on the adjustment layer guess what it won't work so now we need to make a mask of it click the composite blue channel three dots so go to the channels studio again and you can see you've got there click the composite blue channel three dots and select load to pixel selection now that's quite tricky to remember if you remember you've just got your you're in your top layer there you've just painted it you go to the channels studio click the three dots to the side of it and select load to pixel selection it's the top option that's unrelated to the image you've got on the screen at the moment but next hide the top layer in other words untick the checkbox beside that top layer the blue composite and select the layer below it that's the first trees layer you've got the sky the trees composite blue select the trees open the channel studio again and toggle on the red and green composite channels which you can see I've got there that's that second layer selected and all the channels up there are enabled you just tap the eye and they come on and you can see from that last image that it's actually got the crawling ants around it which indicates it's a mask now invert the selection we've got two options here option one to invert only the pixel selection so we replace the sky go to the channel studio again and tap on the funny little symbol on the bottom layer you've got the arrow pointing at it and that will uh, that will invert the pixel selection you know what the image inverted don't confuse it with that we're just inverting the pixel selection or for the long other more traditional way let's continue to option two go to the selections persona tap the edit command and then select invert selection don't do this one as well as the one I just mentioned you do one or the other okay now don't forget this step in the layers command line tap the plus sign then select mask layer to add the mask layer and convert the selection to a mask this should hide the original sky and you can see there you've now got the new sky that's the first layer below it the sky layer 
and that's been the others masked out and that one is able to be seen. You can now touch up the image as you, as you desire. You can add tones, shades, make it warmer, cooler, whatever you like. To hide the crawling ants, with the selections persona selected, go to commands and tap deselect. Unlike designer where there's a deselect button on the left hand side, I haven't found anything on photo yet that's similar. So you just go to selections persona and tap deselect. Crawling ants are gone. Nice clean picture as you can see there. Now you now have a new image with the new dramatic sky in place and very nicely behind the foreground. If you want to clean that up a little bit, make additions to it, open up your original document and go to the layers and make your adjustments. So that's it for this little tutorial. Just a few short steps and you have a very detailed selection process at your fingertips. This is great for doing tree scenes like that, for doing um, images with people's frizzy hair or girls with long flowing hair. Very difficult to pick out, but you may just be able to do it with channels. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And click on the thumbs up if you would to give it a like. I count it and so does YouTube. Thank you very much.